My name is Kaylee Triber. I am a senior photography minor, and I have 10 photos up in the Sam Houston Memorial Museum Art Gallery. Um, I use a Nikon D3100, uh, and I usually use the kit lens on it, and the kit lens is the lens that comes in the kit, and it usually, it's just like your basic lens, and then I have a super zoom, which really helps for landscaping, and a macro lens, which really helps for taking up-close pictures. Um, so when I was a sophomore in high school, I went to Europe, and I went to Rome, and I took my dad's camera, because I was really just supposed to be, you know, taking pictures to show my parents, and show them that I actually did something there, and having that camera in your hand and having the power to be able to choose what is remembered in those pictures and what is shown in those pictures, that was just such a defining moment. The photo that she took and it's a kind of a skyline view of downtown Austin and it's absolutely gorgeous. The, her use of like the saturated colors, how they're like so bright and just so like you know, radiant. She has recently been using a light tint. And what a light tint is, is it's basically a cube-like uh, box thing. And there's a hole in it where like you would put like an object. And what she decided to do was have a person be in it. And she took pictures from the outside of it instead of taking pictures from the inside of it. The LED is like an individual bulb. Yeah. So it's making the lights down, then you know how there's like a reflector on that? Mm -hmm. It's literally sending it across. So there's like this hole right here is like a checker pattern. One thing I wish I would have known when I started taking pictures was um, the importance of lighting. Like obviously I knew it was important to see the person, but I didn't really understand how important it was. And I look back on really old pictures and just think like, man, that could have been such a good picture if I would have known like we were there, it, the wind picked up and it started raining again, so we, all, we just like went inside the house. And while we were waiting for the rain to die out, she, um, we all went inside and we were just chilling on their porch because they have this really huge, nice porch. And we just went outside because it was a nice day. I mean, regardless, aside, aside from the clouds, but like the sun wasn't shining and it was during the summer. So it was really hot, so it, brought, it made everything really cool. Um, I mean, it was real cool because she just like started pulling out her camera and taking pictures. I used to spend all my time with my mom, so my dad was kind of this like super cool, like superhero enigma kind of like, in my mind. So everything he did like blew my mind. And there was this one time that we went on a vacation to the Royal Gorge and he hopped the fence and he was just trying to take this, I mean, crazy picture of the gorge and like all the lighting. And my mom was back there and she's like, oh, I don't understand, you know, why he wants to take these pictures. But it was like in that moment that it's, I did, I did understand this art is super subjective. So whatever makes it memorable for me doesn't necessarily mean that it makes it memorable for another person. So every time, and it's a painful process, but every time you take a picture, you have to think like, man, what can I do as an artist to make this a lot more unique? And so you just have to keep that in mind. If you're taking pictures of a tree, how can you make this tree look like a person? Or how can you make this tree not look like a tree? So I think to make it memorable, memorable you kind of got to abstract art. And I know there's so many people that are going to disagree with that. But to me, what makes art more memorable is if you can make it just totally different from what it actually is.